<sighs> okay guys Whew. it is the coldest weather we've seen today oh there goes Donald <laughs> how cold is it out here honey it's like 40 it's like 40 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning that's cold for us yeah super you cold <laughs> we have a hard freeze tonight uh, where you have to cover up the plants, the animals, and the pipes. Um, we prepped last night for this. And tonight, um, after we get the animals taken care of, we will be going in and having the uh, all the outside faucets drip a little bit. So they it's technically still running water. Um, but it's supposed to get down in our area below 25 with the wind chill <clears throat> no snow plenty of ice though so we decided since we did everything yesterday cleaning the animal cage oh good grief it's cold um we decided that today we were just going to put around the homestead look i'm showing what i'm doing <laughs> so donald's going to explain some some stuff to you guys all right, this is our old water tank. Um, when we put our new one on, we took this off. And I saved it, not knowing what I was going to do with it. I was thinking about maybe making a grill or something like that, but I've decided I'm going to make a uh, little fire pit out of it. So I'm cutting the top off. The bottom I'm leaving open. I took the piping out of it right here and that that will allow air to flow in through to the bottom so that the wood will burn I'm gonna cut the top off and I plan on making little notches in the top bending them in so that it'll sit on like a lid so yep you got it plugged in got it plugged in safety first wear your safety glasses hold on let me back up <laughs> You think I... That's the top, and then, is that that bladder thing? Yeah. For those that have never seen the inside of a well tank. <laughs> this should be interesting. A lot of rust in there, huh? Yeah. And it's all over your clothes now. Yeah. <laughs> You want to sit it on the ground and cut it out? So what are you trying to do now? Uh, we've got the bladder loose. Uh-huh. But it goes back onto this thing. So you got to cut that off? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Okay, let me step back. Ah, 
<laughs> so that's a bladder. That's a bladder. Now that's what fills up with air? No, that's what fills up with water. That's what fills up with water. Okay. I've never seen the inside of a well and tank. It always had a hole in it. Yeah. Which was another reason why we got a new one. <laughs> You can see right there where it split. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Well, got a hole. Yeah. So now. You can't touch the door handles. <laughs> oh! So, what are you going to do with that? Is that going to be the lid? Yeah. Now, okay, so what are you going to do now? Well, now, I'm going to make these little bitty notches around here so that I can kind of tap it, the lid in. Ah. But first, I think, you know what, let me make the notches first. Yeah, because we can, we can always... Uh, So what you doing now? Changing over to the to the polishing or, or sanding blade. That's to get all that's to get all the burrs off of it. Yeah, because you probably got to do the same with that one. Yeah. All right, what are you doing now? I'm bending these little tabs in. And why are you doing that? So that it will fit on there as a lid. See how that fits. Do you have to bend all of them a little bit more? Yeah. So does it have to go on exactly the way it's lined up for? It works better that way. It okay. doesn't have to be. All right. Oh, that looks really good. Well, now we just, and this is going to smother, this will help smother out the fire whenever we're done. Yeah. So, wait a minute. Are you going to make a handle now? Yeah. Cool. First. What you going to do? I'm going to cut a piece for that bottom. With that? Yeah. But that's one of your grills. Oh, uh, this is from an old grill. Ah. I'm just going to cut this off so that it can go over, to, oh, over that hole. Find for a handle. All right, on a hunt for a handle. All right, so you found it. Got the handle right here. Ah. 
and, and we also found this is some grill spray paint that we're going to use to do the outside of it but first we got to take the paint off of it that thing yeah all right so this. well did you want to take the paint off first before you put the uh yeah before you put that together don't lose the screws <laughs> I can do that over here real quick. All right. Well, we can, um, do you want to do the rest of this in the sun, like out in the grass? No. Huh? No. Oh. All right, so what happened, Humby? Well, the wire brush, the threads are different. Oh. So yeah. now what are you trying to do? I was checking these adapters. But none of those work. work. So look, see what else they got. Okay, we'll keep trying. All right, well, what'd you find, hubby? Well, wasn't able to get that grinding wheel on like I wanted, mm -hmm. but I do have this sander. So we're gonna try to sand all this weight off. take a while might have to rethink this this will burn this off and we can we can paint it i'm not worried about sanding this down you're just worried about sanding the top yeah and i might just have to do that with this it's going to be a lot faster okay so well i'll let you work on this for a while all right, all right. so what'd you do i found a handle Oh well, yeah. This is one of the handles. This is in some of the stuff your dad gave me in all those boxes and stuff like that. Ah. I found this. And I'm going to use self tappers. Mm-hmm. To screw it in. To screw it in. <laughs> Take it off of hammer. <laughs> Try this again. And now we have a handle. Nice. And then this will just take and put that right on the thing. All right. So what do you have to do now? Well. Instead of trying to sand all that off, I'm going to try to burn the paint off of that one. Okay, so... These are old. Yeah, we've had them up there, up in the uh, thing for a couple of years now. Yeah, I think we used these for the fireplace when we first when we first moved in and decided we're never going to really use this. It should still be flammable. Okay. it wants to be a little bit of a pain. All right, so lighter fluid. I don't know, it's kind of windy. Ugh. And it's cold. All right, now we wait. Yeah. Now we wait. And we'll go back to sanding. As you can tell, outside is bubbling. 
paint's almost off except for that one that spot right there. It's doing good. Careful, Brayden. Let me put his, Let me put the wood in. No, 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 no. Let Daddy put the wood in. Brayden decided to come out and help on this cold day. Let me put the wood in. I said, Brayden. No. <laughs> Did yeah, you get it painted? Yeah, come got... look over here. All right, hold on. Let me see. Oh. Oh, yeah. Where the paint's coming right off. Yeah. Yeah, that's working a lot better than uh, scrub it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and we got a nice little fire. Yeah. All right, let's go see the lid. All right, so you only painted the outside, right, honey? Yeah. Still a little wet, but there we go. Let that dry for a little bit longer, huh, Brayden? Yeah. Yeah. yeah me and Brayden are going to go get some wood to put in the fire. More wood? Yeah. All righty. Yeah. All right. We got it all scraped. Now. We just gotta let it uh, burn itself out. So tomorrow we will be able to paint it. Oh, and here's the lid. Totally done. Came out really nice, real smooth. So very happy with it. Alrighty, we got it all done. It's the next day, and uh, we're just setting it here until we figure out where we want to put it, but there it is all burnt out. Just have to line up the... It's a little heavy for me. <laughs> but, there we go. Got ourselves a little fire pit, and it radiates the heat like crazy. It's insane. So... It's going to be awesome to have. <laughs>